afternoon, Pastor David. How you doing, John? Welcome, everybody, to a random moment with Pastor David Unfiltered. Pastor wanted to change it up a little bit and, uh, and ask a question that actually came in through Instagram. And it's somebody from our church, Miss Venegas. So if you're watching Miss Venegas, God bless you. And this is, we're going to use the question that you submitted. But it's an interesting question. And I want to read what she uh, sent to us. Hello, my, uh, hello, my family. I have been, excuse me. Hello, my family and I have been attending your church services for over a year. I noticed that the Star of David is significant in your church. It would be interesting to know why and how that came to pass. Maybe this could be one of your interview questions uh, for Pastor David to answer. Okay, so next time we'll answer that question. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> why is the Star of David's uh, significant emblem in this fellowship? Yes. Well, if you look closely at the Star of David, it has a cross in it. So it is not really only a Star of David, but it is a Star of David with a cross. And I actually got um, my first, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called, an ornament for a necklace, you know, um, in Israel in um, probably 25, 30 years ago at least. And uh, when I was in in I forget if it was in Jerusalem or I think it was Jerusalem uh, I saw it and I like the symbol because it reminds me makes me aware of my Christian heritage that is um, grounded in the Jewish uh, the Jewish faith you know so Jesus himself obviously being Jewish and and all and so the Star of David which is on the um, the Israeli flag has been the seal of or symbol of of uh, of uh, the Jewish Jewish state for quite some time. I believe it's now I could be wrong on this, but it could be called the Magen David. Also, the Magen would be the shield of the shield of David, and is a symbol of reminder for the house of David and the various things related to that. And so Jesus is from the house of David, from the tribe of Judah. Is the son of David, and so I see the the symbolism of the Jewish faith and the Christian um, outgrowth from the Old Testament, as it was fulfilled in Jesus our Messiah, who is the son of David. And uh, so I wear the cross and the star of David to remind myself, and sometimes give opportunity to others to ask questions like this: Why do you do that? so that I can share that because it's a, a reminder that that my faith in Christ originates in the Old Testament the promises of Messiah and how Jesus fulfilled those promises and what's interesting when you go to Israel sometimes and not so much because all you would normally see from the Jewish uh, I don't want to say religion the Jewish beliefs Judaism it's typically just the Star of David. Yes. And then with, with the star, with the cross in it, is indicating a Christian faith, mm -hmm. as you mentioned. And mm -hmm. sometimes that may not be uh, accepted. In uh, you know what I was in. <laughs> that's interesting that you'd say that. I was in Germany, and I was in a in the airport, and I had my Star of David cross, and I have I you know I usually wear it out, and. Uh, there was a German guy looking at me in a way that I thought it was actually, um, it wasn't a curious gaze. It was more like a, an anti-Semitic gaze. It, sometimes people, you can feel that, you know. Sometimes you know that this is something that's not just curiosity. There's a bit of hostility behind that. And so, yeah, it, it is a symbol that um, was used um, I think it, its origin, the real Star of David origin, isn't, isn't in ancient antiquity. It's actually from something like the 16th or 17th century in, uh, in that area and originally was a, a symbol that, uh, that you, you find in various other places. We, we have seen the Star of David, just uh, the, the, the star itself, in India on Hindu temples. Yeah, it's it, you can see it in various places in the world, and it's uh, you know there's various reasons for the use of that, and some some religious um, pagan religious systems it is regarded as a good luck symbol, um, 
you know, represents a variety of things. There's quite a number of, of um, interpretations of the, of the star itself. But I believe in, in Czechoslo Czechoslovakia in the 16th or 17th century, um, it became a symbol for the Jewish people. And then from there, it went on until it became accepted as the, the national symbol of Israel. But yeah, it's, it's not, an, an, it's not a, um, a symbol that is only from the nation of, of Israel, though. I mean, I, I've been in China. I've seen it in China. I've seen it in India. Uh, and I, it blew my mind when I first, I said, what is, <laughs> what is this, you know? But it was an ancient sy symbol. And, and uh, I think, uh, and the Kabbal and those who have Jewish mysticism, they like to attribute it to, to a superstitious belief in, in uh, protection, you know, the shield of David protection and this and that. But I don't see it that way at all. Uh, I see it as a reminder of my, my faith that is rooted deeply in, in the Jewish, uh, our Jewish religion, r religion's origins fulfilled in the New Testament through Jesus Christ. And um, that's why we have it. And so it's, it's also as a way to, um, to let our church know of our, our love and support for the nation of Israel. Now that doesn't mean that everything Israel does we agree with. I'm simply saying that uh, the Lord said, I will bless those who bless you, you know, and, and uh, I, I do believe that we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem and, uh, you know, and uh, be aware of where we come from. And I do have a lot of love and support for the, uh, for the nation of Israel. I see it in, in God's prophetic timeline and variety of things that relate to that. And so, again, as a reminder, of the origin of uh, of my faith, I wear a uh, star of David with a cross. Amen. And uh, if you want to get your own star of David, we have a we have yeah a, we're going to Israel. <laughs> we have a trip going up in Israel. In March. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it only cost you forty three hundred dollars to get a star of David. You know, can't beat that deal. <laughs> but I tell you what, you know, there's just something about be we 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 can carry that. That article here in the in our, our bookstore for sure. Yes. But yeah, there's just something special about going to uh, to Israel and coming home with something like this. You know. Well, thank you, Pastor and Miss Venegas. Thank you so much for your question, Church family. We do want to remind you that we have our services at 8:30 and 10:45. Pastor Dave has taken us to Mark chapter 11. Uh, by what authority? Under what, By what authority? By what authority? And mm -hmm. so that's going to be a great study. Invite your friends and family to come on out. We have our baptisms coming up July 3rd mm -hmm. uh, after second service. We're going to have some festivities. We have baptism, some festivities of terms of uh, different varieties of foods out there. Our cafe will be open. There'll be some sliders. We'll have uh, some worship music going on. Great time to, if you've never been baptized, come on out. Uh, and as you even share about baptism right before we go out. Sure. And, uh, and then we have our July 10th after second service, we have our Israel informational meeting yes. where a rep from Israel will come and uh, answer any questions. No need to sign up, just show up in the sanctuary after second service, that's gonna be July 10th. And so we have quite a number of events going on. Yeah, we do. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys out there. Pastor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys for tuning in and God bless you.